Coming up on Press This, our never-ending quest to give you the very best in WordPress ecosystems continues with our look at WordPress frameworks. Stick around to the end and we have a special little surprise that we're developing for you if you're a creative or someone consulting with WordPress. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, always a pleasure to see you today on Press This, the introduction to, well, actually I was going to say the premier WordPress web show. If you're watching another WordPress web show, you are in the wrong place. This is the WordPress web show you want to watch. Absolutely. Why? Because we take awesome stuff like themes and plugins, smash them together, give you the best of the best or the worst of the worst. Sometimes we can't even make up our own minds uh, of what the, uh, the awesome WordPress stuff has to offer, like plugins and themes and all that fun stuff. Hit subscribe if you like us, if you like what, what we're doing. Uh, and today we're talking about WordPress frameworks. Oh boy. Oh boy. So this is just an introductory uh, episode. We're going to tell you which frameworks we're going to look at. You're going to chime in and say, we want to hear, hear about another yeah. framework. Yeah. What are frameworks? Well, frameworks are a great way to help you get your development of a new WordPress site off the ground. Right, right. It's not necessarily a theme, but it is a framework to a yeah. theme. What's really nice about these is it takes most of the guesswork out of creating your website. It's done for you to a degree. It's compatible with other themes and you can more easily style your website based on their framework with the colors and fonts and styles that you want, the images where you want to put them and the layout you want to have for your website, and they kind of get you started. Mm -hmm. And from a development side, there's a lot more function that you'll find under the hood that you might not find in just a simple theme. Right. Um, maybe things like testimonials, widget, slider, widget, um, you know, different way to style archive pages. Uh, frameworks will really give you a lot of the development mm -hmm. side. So what are the ones we're looking at? Uh, we're first, we're going to be looking at Genesis. Uh, yeah. by StudioPress, Builder by iThemes, Canvas uh, by WooThemes, uh, Headway Themes uh, by Vespid Inc., uh, Startbox by Web Dev Studios, and Thesis by DIY Themes. Yeah. And of course, guys, let us know, just like you mentioned a little earlier, let us know if other ones we might have missed out on or ones that you want us to talk about. We can certainly do that for you. Right. So I like to say, do you really need a framework, <laughs> right? Okay. Do you really need a framework? What does a framework mean to you? Like if I say, well, what framework are you starting with, Dan? What you're most, you're most concerned as a WordPress beginner, right. if you don't mind me calling you, you that. I don't mind at all because that's what I am. Um, you're, looking at, you're looking at all these themes. Are you even thinking, do I really want a framework? Is a framework really going to help me get to where I want to go? And I think, I think it's an appealing thought because mm -hmm. it's just somebody kind of, kind of rubbing your shoulders and telling you it's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. um, you tend to get started and say, I'm going to make a website, and WordPress is easy. And then, you know, depending on what sort of languages you're used to coding and things like that, like my background, the stuff I'm more used to working with is like stuff like HTML and CSS, which is great. Um, and what I really like about framework is this is, those HTML, CSS are typically where people get started with web design. And frameworks tell you, that's what you do. Mm -hmm. And we'll provide the rest of Keeps it. Keeps you within the lines, right. per se. And if you don't mind us jumping into the, this topic while we're on this other topic of do we need th frameworks, that gets into parent themes and child themes. Mm -hmm. and what that says is they have this parent theme, which is sort of, I mean, we have, we're going to talk about WooThemes Canvas, and that's essentially what it is. It's a canvas for you to do your dirty work to. Mm -hmm. So then I can develop an image that I want to have for my background or whatever color I want to have for my background or a certain button or certain style, certain font types, things like that. And I can use them with a simple CSS style sheet to create what's called a child theme, mm -hmm. which works hand in hand with this framework. So they take care of all the plugins and support I need, and I take care of how the website looks, and I give it my own sort of my own sort of style. Right, and there's so I ask that because there will be times where you just simply don't need a framework, or if you're somebody who's consulting on okay. WordPress to to other right. clients. They're not going to need a framework, and mm -hmm. I'll probably get a lot of hate mail for this, but whatever. Bring it, <laughs> you cool. know, bring it on. It's it's it, it's good topics for for the for the show. Frameworks, there's a lot of overhead, right? Mm -hmm. So you you have a framework that yeah. has been pre-built 
to just run in the background for lack of a better right. term the, you know some of my developer buddies are going to kill me for that but <laughs> so it runs in the background there's this overhead to it because it's got all these little pieces ready to go right. if you want to pull in right. these pieces it's there it's already coded mm -hmm. in and and it's got its own way of doing it right. so there's that overhead right. a lot of people never going to even see that but on large scale sites that comes into play there's all this extra overhead so if you're getting millions of page views th that could come into a problem be right. a problem right, right. Um, what it solves for beginners like you is yeah. let's say the framework comes with multiple page styles like a single full width page right. multiple column pages studio mm -hmm. press does this really well where it comes with all these different layout options so one sidebar on the left mm -hmm. two sidebars on the left one sidebar on the right two sidebars <laughs> on the right you know and it's right. got all this stuff and you can kind of pick that for each page what that allows you what that gives you is you don't have to go into the CSS mm -hmm. and edit all that yourself. Right. It's got all those little pieces of the mm -hmm. puzzle there. Yep. So you've got this framework and then you grab a child theme yep. and put it on top. Yeah. So now you're, you, what you've got here is something that takes a little bit longer to launch. Yep. Something you have to be more mindful of to mm -hmm. kind of watch how you're plugging everything together. Yep. So if you're consulting, again, sometimes it's really fast, allows mm -hmm. you to get a site really quick. But when the client starts asking for custom stuff, now you're now right. you have to stop and think okay is this right. going to work with the framework does the framework already solve this right. yes or no then i have to bring in the child theme that the right. cu that the customer likes is that going to be compatible right. with the so there's some right. overhead you want to really think about before jumping into a framework mm -hmm. some frameworks do it better than others yeah, and it just certainly comes down to that that typical conversation of are you using it just for yourself and, mm -hmm. and is this going to meet your needs for your target market and then if you're developing it or i'm sorry you're sending it out to other clients and you're helping them market their websites and building a presence that way um, we're going to get into situations where they're going to ask for you to do. Everybody's going to want something specific done to do to a degree once they get that power, you know? Right. Oh, I have this great website now. Well, now I want to do this. Right. And that's where that becomes a little bit more of a difficult proposition um, with frameworks. Right. And if you're learning WordPress, so yeah. if you're watching this yeah. show because you're learning WordPress on how to use it, you're not even consulting yet. Yeah. And, and you just want to learn this because you're going to be doing it on your own. You're going to be eventually consulting. Mm -hmm. Frameworks are a great way to see the kind of the, the ins and outs of WordPress mm -hmm. through somebody else's yep. view because what these developers are doing are say, okay, here's how WordPress works. We're going to build this roadmap to pull in all these little yep. pieces. So if you're just starting out, you can kind of code things um, a little bit easier with a right. framework. Mm -hmm. There's ways to pull in code that you would have to be a much better programmer to, to learn how right. to do and pull it out of WordPress right. yourself. Framework kind of sits in the middle. Yeah. Right. That. Right. Um, so, what that introduces is the concept of parent themes and child themes. Yep, yep. This is something that is super important to know about WordPress because when themes update, if you made a lot of custom changes, mm -hmm. you could break the theme right. when the theme goes to update. Right. Designer releases some new yeah. style sheets or some new updates to the theme. If you updated it directly and you, and you customize it directly, you could be interfering with those updates. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, so doing parent themes and child themes, doing a framework, this gets you into this whole process of I've got my framework and this is going to be updated. I got my child theme. I can edit this all I want and I know when this thing updates, I'll mm -hmm. be safe. Right. And now I just need to pull these little updates yeah. into it if I want to get that extra function. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. So all that said, now that I've <laughs> melted your brain, yeah. <laughs> now that I've melted your brain, we are going to look at those six top frameworks. Yeah. And we'll put them, we'll do tr tr more typical press this stuff, more typical press this form, right. pitting plugins, well, in this case, frameworks against each other right. um, and seeing who comes out victorious. Right. So what is it from a framework that you want to know about, right? Mm -hmm. what, you know, let us know yeah. in the questions which frameworks, again, we're looking at Genesis, Builder, Canvas, Headway, Starbox, and Thesis. Yeah. These can get expensive, so do you want to know about price? Do you want right. to know about flexibility with e-commerce? I mean, let us know, guys. Yeah, those are great questions. Those are great questions because you have to take into take into account all of those questions mm -hmm. when you're when you're deciding. Because we're getting back into our favorite thing, which is the ecosystem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which ecosystem do you yeah. want to be married to? Yeah, we've already yeah. done it with membership. We've already done it with e-commerce. Now we're going to be doing it with WordPress frameworks. This is fun exciting. and exciting stuff. I'm excited. <laughs> All right, Dan. So let's wrap this up mm -hmm. uh, in this episode. What do we What do we launch recently for our WordPress friends? Why well, I'm glad you asked that, Matt. We launched the Learn WordPress. 
uh, tutorial page. Uh, it's actually a new playlist on our uh, YouTube account here, Slocum Studio. You can take a look at it if you want to learn how to use WordPress or show other people, maybe even clients um, mm -hmm. of yours, uh, how to learn WordPress without having to be there holding their hand. You can take a look at it right there. And we have sort of a how to get started all the way down to things like search engine optimization and contact form creation. That's awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to have an unbranded uh, plugin that we're going to start building out for you guys where if you are you know, working with other clients in WordPress, you can take this plugin, install it on their site. It doesn't have any of our branding. It's mm -hmm. just screencast yep. tutorials of how to create pages and posts yep. and manage WordPress. It might be great for you. Yeah. Give us some feedback. Let us know. Watch the videos. If you're just starting out, another great way to start out and start learning WordPress. Sounds good to me. Hit subscribe because we want to hit 5,000. We got fi over 500, so that's awesome. Yeah, 5,000. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.